I have made something that I'm confident will get you more marks in your exams. I have a set of 12 practice papers which are designed to structure your revision and really help people like you get the top grades in their exams. Now they've been written for students taking AQA GCSE Physics, for those doing triple science, and also for those who are aiming for a grade 7 to a 9. And in 2023, about 140,000 students actually sat the real exams, which means there's lots of competition for those really, really high grades. So I have made six versions of paper one and another six versions of paper two. Uh, I named them after the first six letters of the Greek alphabet. So we have alpha, beta, gamma, which you might be familiar with, uh, looking at radiation. And then we have delta, epsilon, and zeta. And they just show that there are different versions of that paper. And I designed them from the beginning so that they cover all of the main areas in the AQA specification. So this is my breakdown of the paper one. I've got six versions at the top and each paper has 10 questions. And you can see how the same topic is repeated across multiple papers, but also they cover all of the required practical activities and also the kind of practical skills that you're going to be assessed on in not only your physics, but also your biology and chemistry exams as well. So you can see by doing all six papers, it means you've covered and you've revised all parts of that paper. And it's the same for paper two. So by doing six paper twos, it means you've covered every single required practical. You've covered all of the main topics that are going to come up. And that's going to really help you prepare and actually go into your exam feeling a little bit more confident that you've done everything you possibly could do. And that means you can get the highest grade that you can possibly achieve. Now the papers themselves are a digital download and that means you get instant access to them. There's a question paper, so like you're pretty familiar uh, with, uh, you can actually write in your answers. And I would suggest that you print this off so you practice writing in black pen just like you would in the real exam under exam conditions. So there's um, a whole question paper for you to fill in. The next part is that there is a mark scheme, uh, so you can actually mark your own work. And I've designed this to be as easy to be used by students as possible. Uh, the ones you often get with real exam papers, they're designed for teachers and examiners to actually use as their marking. So sometimes they're a little bit unclear. So what I have is a complete mark scheme uh, that you can use. And I'd suggest that you don't need to actually print this off. You can just view it on your laptop your mobile or a tablet or something like that to actually um, mark your work. And at the end of this, there's even some suggested grade boundaries. And these are based on real grade boundaries from exams. Uh, and if you're aiming for that kind of grade nine, you want to be going for 70% at least in all of your uh, practice papers. But of course, uh, I do things differently to most other people. And I've got something that I haven't seen in many other predicted papers or practice papers. There are full work solutions to the entire paper. And this is part of that digital download. So you can see how to structure your answer, uh, the ways that you'd actually kind of lay out your working to get the maximum, the maximum amount of marks possible. So there are full work solutions for each of the papers. But of course, you know that I do something which lots of other people don't do, and that is the video side of GCSE Physics. Now, in addition to this digital product, if you've got a premium plan or you have access to a school subscription, you can go to my website uh, at GCSE Physics Online, and there are then work solutions to every single one of these practice papers. So say, for example, uh, you were doing this paper here. Uh, this is paper one zeta. And there's a question here, which is a different approach to looking at specific heat capacity. Now, maybe you didn't understand what the mark scheme said. Maybe you didn't quite understand the work solutions. Well, you can actually go and watch a video where I explain all of this and actually talk through the question. And you can easily find just the question that you need that bit more support with. And of course, I talk about the actual question itself, but also wider exam tips and the ways that you can be successful in your real exams. So there's the digital download, which has the question paper, the mark scheme and work solutions. And then there's extra support over on my GCSE Physics website. Now, if you'd like to find out more about this, there's a free sample paper you can download. and I've got a link uh, to that just beneath this video. And of course, you can have a look at gcsephysicsonline.com forward slash practice papers. And there's a lot more information there. And you can actually have a look around and decide if this is the kind of thing that can really help you. So thank you so much for watching and best of luck in your real exams coming up soon.